Hey friends, Marin with Into Mobile here. We're at a Pioneer event, and as you can see here, the company has a long history of integrating with Apple products. We're going to check out the latest line of receivers and see the cool new integration with the iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad. So, let's go ahead and check it out. This is our entry level receiver at $249. At this price point, we couldn't afford to put a direct Apple connector directly on the device, just because of the cost to be able to offer it at this price point. Since we offer everything like the HDMI 1.4 inputs, the MCACC, we offer a basic on-screen display, and all this feature, what we do provide is the Bluetooth adapter, our Bluetooth option. You can add the Bluetooth adapter. I'm streaming content from this iPhone right now through it via the Bluetooth. We still get the metadata from the phone that displays over here which is a nice feature, but it's a basic entry-level receiver, but it affords you all the features that you want in a basic home theater receiver. All the advanced audio codecs at a great price. Basic remote control. It also has a 3.5 millimeter jack, which is very rudimentary, but it does offer that for the guy that doesn't even want to buy um, the uh, Bluetooth adapter. But it's also, I think, a very attractive receiver as well. And this is a $349. This week, you get more HDMI inputs. We now have the direct connection here. So what I can do is I can actually access the content on this directly from directly from the remote control here, browse content to play back with a very rudimentary OSD at this point. And this is how you would listen to all the music. But if I want to play content from here, I would actually what we call our iPod control. So you hit that button, it switches over control to this device. So if I now go to here and I choose my Netflix content, we'll choose local content. Here's content that's from Netflix, let me uh, go to my queue. We'll choose exit through the gift shop. And now rather than playing here, it's gonna play on here. And depending on the receiver, if the receiver has a video scale, it'll actually scale the video up to the TV set. But the video content is actually not bad at all. It's better than what people would expect since Apple doesn't support digital video output yet. Is that a composite video? This is actually a composite video cable, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll play some local content as well. Switch from here, go to videos, some Toy Story 3. But this is conscious of downloaded from iTunes. The main difference between the 520 and the 820 is going to be the fact that it has the direct connection for the iPhone and the iPod, additional HDMI inputs as well. It's still a 5.1 channel receiver at $100 price per year. If we move over to the next model, this is the 920. The major difference between this model and this model is the fact you've now gone to 7.1 channels worth of amplification. So you've got 790 watt amps? Not 790 watt amps at 20 to 20 as far as so that's why. That's actually real wattage, 70 by 2020, um, or 7 by 2020. You get very similar features that you get on the other model with, with, as it relates to, um, to the Apple. We'll switch over to content here. Go back to the main menu. You can do the exact same type of things. You can play local content. You can stream iTunes content or uh, AirPlay content as well. Switches over to the video output there since it detects it. And the zoom vertical limit, this is all coming over a Wi-Fi signal here. We get the same type of thing. But like I said, the key difference between the two models, you go to a 7.1 channel, more HDMI inputs. There's a variety of other videos. Oh, video scaler. So a 1080p video scaler is included in the uh, 921 as well. So we're you using the scaler. Right the now. composite output of the uh, iPod and iPad too? Yes, it will, absolutely. So everything that we have that has a direct connection is, is iPod Touch, iPhone 4, as well as iPad. And it'll upscale the composite video. Absolutely. It'll upscale, uh, yes, device. it'll absolutely upscale the content coming out of there. This is actually being scaled by the receiver right now. This is SD content, obviously, coming over composite being upscaled in the receiver, and it actually 
kind of kill some of the black holes as TV's capable, but it's still, uh, it still works. Why'd everyone want their eye? <laughs> but I think those are kind of the key takeaways here that it actually just, the scaling, seven channels, all the features you saw in the previous models, the Bluetooth is uh, ready, MCACC.